Okay, so now we're gonna use we're gonna learn about the or or no, excuse me the and operator. So this roughly translates to and. So if um, if a is true and b is true, then we execute this stuff. Otherwise, else, execute this stuff. Okay? So you put two of these together. Technically, uh, well, okay. At any rate, I think you get the idea. So, if this evaluates to true, and this one evaluates to true, then we'll do this. But if this one is true, but that one is not, then this will not be executed, right? So I think you get how to do that. Uh, so if we said, uh, will you, let's say we have William Jones. Okay, the name is clean, but what if we have William Gates, uh-oh, we heard a name we dislike. Please don't use that name here. Um, let's see here. Another thing you can do, what if, what if we said, oh, well, we're, we're worried about, um, you can create to, you could create here with uh, these parentheses, you could go like this. Um, and we could put an or in here. Maybe, just maybe, you see, maybe they're going to enter the name Bill instead of William. All right, and we don't want that, so we want to catch that. So here we could say, all right, if this val evaluates to, to true, okay, or this whole thing evaluates to true. So that would mean that they could enter Bill instead of William. And we have sort of separated out we have um, essentially isolated our truth checking into two separate categories. And so these are going to happen separately. Um, and But yet we maintain um, the ability for our if statement to check either this side or this side. Okay. Um, so if we said um, Will Gates, the name is clean. Um, but if we say Bill Gates, we heard a name we don't like. Oh, maybe they put in William Gates. We heard a name we, but what if you did this? What if you put in lowercase Bill, right? What if we put in a lowercase bill with the B? Oh, the name is clean. So you can see it's case sensitive, all right? So this, these, te these are case sensitive. Um, 